Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we're talking about the new iOS 18 beta one. It has a lot of cool new features and a lot of them that you probably don't know about. So in today's video, I will show you guys 10 really awesome things that your iPhone can do on iOS 18 and you probably don't know about. Now the first one is this one right here on the phone app. So when you go to the phone app, you will notice a few different changes with the recent calls where you can now search recent, recent calls. It has a new layout right here under the phone app. When you go to dial a number, you will now be able to actually add that as a contact directly with that button. But what's really cool is these suggestions right here. So if I start typing a number here, it will show me suggestions suggestions of that number when it matches with one of my contacts or more. So you can see right here as I'm typing this, it says IR, that's the contact and one more. So I can tap right there to view all the contacts with that phone number. So as I'm writing down the phone number there, if it matches with one of my contacts, it will suggest it for me. I can go ahead, tap there and easily dial that number from here. As you probably know, with the new lock screen on iOS 18, you will be able to actually customize the buttons that we have on the lock screen and set them to do pretty much anything you want. And now you can also actually use them to launch any app you want. So you go ahead and select open app, the option to open an app, and then you tap on it and it shows you this like interface right here. It says app, you go ahead and choose. You can just go ahead and choose any app you want, just like that. Now this will of course work with shortcuts. So you again, tap right there, choose the app you want. You will have here the list of all the apps that you have on your device. Once you have done that, you tap the done button. Now you're good to go and you will have the apps here. You can go ahead and open those apps now directly from the lock screen of your iPhone. Now what's really cool on iOS 18 is something, an animation here that is very subtle, but you'll probably notice it once you take a look, a closer look at your device. You will have some like animations here on the sides when you tap the buttons, like right here. And when I tap the power button, you will notice it there. This is most likely Apple just adding this feature as they're preparing for the new iPhone, which should have the solid buttons. And then of course, give you that animation right there to actually give you more of a feel when you actually tap that button, which won't actually be a physical click, probably just a vibration. And with the action button on iOS 18, you can do now a lot of stuff. So you go to the action button, you will have here the usual ones, and then you will find something here called controls. Now, when you go to controls, you tap choose a control, and you will have the same controls that you have on the control center and on the lock screen for the lock screen buttons. And now you can go ahead and choose any of these controls right here. Anything that you want from here will be able to actually be used as an action button, which is actually very, very useful. Now, what's really cool with iOS 18 is that now you can record a video while you're playing media in the background. So if I'm playing something there and I go to the camera app and I switch here to video, it will continue playing. So you will still have your music in the background, even though you're recording a video. And that's actually really, really awesome. Now, previously on iOS 17 and earlier, we had a trick to do that, but you had to go to the photo mode and tap and hold here to start recording a video because it wouldn't work with the video mode, but you can finally now do that stock on iOS. Another way to do that, head on to your settings, and then go to camera right here, go to record sound and make sure you have enabled allow audio playback. A new feature we have heard about before iOS 18 was released on its first beta was called Music Haptics and is actually here with beta one, even though Apple didn't mention this feature at all. So when you go to your settings, go under accessibility and right here under hearing, you will find Music Haptics. Now you can enable Music Haptics and it provides a haptic feedback for the songs that you're listening to. So right here you have the apps that do support this feature and you can play 
like an example right there it shows you how it actually works it basically gives you a haptic feedback of the wave of the beat of the song and it's pretty cool and most likely will be useful for a ton of people Another pretty cool feature that Apple has added to iOS 18 is called eye tracking. Now, eye tracking allows you to completely control your iPhone simply by using your eyes. Now, the feature can be found under the accessibility settings. You go here, you will find the eye tracking feature. And then once you enable it, it will show you an interface which will basically help you calibrate your iPhone. So you simply follow these dots right here until this process is complete. It will take probably around 15 to 20 seconds for you to do this. And once you have this done, then you will be able to actually enable this feature on your iPhone. It is pretty cool and of course, very, very useful. It will help a ton of people. Apple is always doing a great job when it comes to these kind of features. This is amazing to see the iPhone working with this feature. I've tried it out. It works actually pretty good. So just like that, simply by moving your eyes and focusing on different items, you can move around and actually perform different actions. Now, one really cool thing that I like on iOS 18, it is a simple feature, but it's pretty cool to have is a turn off sound. So with iOS 17, we have the power on sound. So once you power on your iPhone, you will get a sound. Now, if you go under accessibility and you go to audio and visuals, you will have power on and off sounds. You can enable it and it gives you a pretty cool sound whenever you're turning on or off your iPhone. Now with iOS 18, you can tap back on messages with anything you want. Whether that be a sticker or an emoji, you can now do that. You won't have just the normal ones that we had on iOS 17. We have those, but they have all been updated. Now you will be able to actually swipe like this. It shows you the recent emojis that you have used on your iPhone. And then if you tap this button, you will be able to actually go to the full list of your emojis as well as your stickers and use anything you want here as a tab back. And right here we're on an album on the photos app and this is actually really really awesome. Now when you're on an album on the photos app you can swap uh, swipe up and down of course to move between the photos and take a look at your photos but you can switch quickly to the other album to the next or previous album simply by swiping like this. How cool is that? You swipe like this to go to this album, swipe like this to go back. You can go to another one as easy as that. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some of the cool things that your iPhone can do on iOS 18 that you probably didn't know about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.